Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be talking about how I became a Jira expert and maybe, maybe, just maybe give you a little bit of a motivational video to help encourage you to become an expert as well. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want to share your story, let me know in the comments section below. Okay, so I have been using Jira since Halloween of 2016, and I used it, I don't, I don't want to say all eight hours of my workday, but I was using Jira pretty much every single workday, Monday through Friday all for all 2016 well the the remaining of 2016 all 2017 and all 2018 and i used jira not as a user but as an administrator i was an administrator for the data center or on-premise version of jira and i got really really good at just knowing how to configure how to make jira work how to customize it for the scrum teams for the agile teams of the company that i was working at but in 2018, I did a transition. I left the IT world and I entered more of a program management world where I had to now rely on Jira to successfully deliver millions and millions of dollars worth of value to my customers. I was working in the defense world, working on very, very expensive aircrafts and naturally very expensive million dollar months worth of work all having to be managed in the tool. And I was able to leverage my very intimate knowledge of how Jira worked behind the scenes, the back end portion of Jira, if you will, to help really customize and, and be able to reorganize the Jira that my team was using on the front end on, on just the program management tracking to really fine tune Jira to execute a lot better and, and communicate a lot more clearly. So I did that for all of 2018, 2019. In 2020, I decided to leave that company and I jumped to another company. And yet again, again, more five, six, seven, eight hours worth a day where I'm just tracking teams in Jira. So this was all my 2020 going into the first half of 2021. Now, at this point, if you've been kind of keeping track, I used Jira for 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 2021. Those were about uh, really five years because I don't know, depending on how you count, right? But five to six years of me using Jira, I wouldn't say casually because I, it was very intentful and I was using Jira a lot throughout my day, but I was never really scratching anything beyond the surface. I was really just at the surface level, just being a daily steward of Jira. And so it wasn't until 2021 that I decided to kind of go out on my own and really become a Jira administrator as a for hire, as a consultant, if you will. And so right around the midpoint of June 2021, I started using Jira because I basically had no job anymore and I, Jira was going to be how I fed my family. And so I started using Jira not a couple of hours a day casually, but 12 hours a day of dedicated use. I got really, really good by essentially exploring, by trying things out, by uh, people asking me questions of like, hey, can you do this in Jira? And instead of my traditional no or I don't know, I, I basically flipped the switch and I started reproducing the question and trying to find a solution. And I dedicated 12 hours a day, six days a week. So I drastically, I'm talking about a, a huge massive improvement of my time to use Jira. And in just the six months between June and December of 2021, I can honestly say I became five times more better at Jira during that six month period than it did the first five or six years of me using Jira daily for work. And so that was just a, such a giant switch that I made. And so my recommendation to you is if you're trying to become better at Jira, if you're trying to become like a so-called expert, right? It's not going to come easy and it's not going to come by you just scratching the surface. You need to go deep. You need to try, you need to invest. You need to tr like try to break Jira almost and you need to be using it a lot. You need to invest your time and energy and calories into researching what is out there, 
how it works, why it works, and what it's, what's the possible things that you can do with Jira. And when you do that, when you do that dedication, and I don't think you need to dedicate like years to do this. I did it in six months. You might be able to do it a little bit faster than me, but the trick is you need to become dedicated. You need to master your craft. You need to practice your craft every day. Because if you're just a touch and go type of person where you come in, you do just enough to get your job done, you're never going to become an expert or master in something. Malcolm Gladwell wrote a 10,000 hour rule one time. And I can honestly say that at first when I was in college, I didn't really hold buy into this whole 10,000 mastery and you're going to become an expert in something. But now that I've actually been in Jura and I continuously do use Jura for at least 10 to 12 hours, Monday through Friday at least, right? And so my skill set just drastically and exponentially goes up day by day because I'm out in the community trying to learn new problems and trying to figure out how to solve them. And I try to solve them without Googling. I try to solve by reproducing, by trying to intentionally break Jira or, or intentionally reproduce that problem and then figuring out how to fix it. And, and you can take this, this method, this strategy that I've been using to pretty much learn anything. It doesn't have to be Jira related, but it has drastically and really, really helped me out because I used to suffer from imposter syndrome. I don't have imposter syndrome anymore. And I attribute that to the fact that I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. I went and dedicated 12 hours of my day. Okay, I could have been doing anything else. I could have been watching Netflix. I could have been watching Disney Plus. I could have just been, could have just been sitting on the couch like I was before during my off time. But instead I chose to basically jump into the tool, read through all the documentation and experiment. I got my own sandbox and I just tried things. And when people ask me questions and if I said, I don't know, I wrote that down and I went and figured it out. Okay. And so that is just the key to the success here. So I hope this motivated you. I hope this encourages you to roll up your sleeves as well, put in the work, put in the reps, and you are going to see that through consistency and dedication, you are going to learn a new skill or you're going to master this skill. You don't need to be born a Jira expert. None of us are right. But if you do put in that time, I guarantee you, you will see results. I have personally seen them in my life and in my career. And hopefully you will see them in yours as well. Just stay consistent, stay dedicated, stay foolish and stay hungry. And you will see that your skills are going to exponentially grow as well. That's it for this video. If you got any value out of this one, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, comments or concerns, or maybe if you want to share your story, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next one.